All right, welcome guys. Tonight, we're gonna take a little trip down and we're gonna check out Port FC. We're gonna see a football game and we're gonna kind of compare and contrast what it looked like a year ago to what it looks like today. All right, so let me show you around. So a year ago, all of this, uh, these food vendors would be inside near the stadium, but now they're out here on the sidewalk because they have some restrictions that don't allow them to set up inside. Because I guess uh, there'll be super spreaders inside as opposed to out here on the sidewalk. So part of going to the game is you gotta come down and get some food, have some beers with your friends, and cheer for your team. So they set up some tables out here on the sidewalk, sell some beers, sell plenty of food. But right now you can't take any food into the stadium. So anything you have out here, you have to eat it or drink it out here and you can't take it inside. So as you can see, everybody wears their orange and their blue. <laughs> and some meat on a stick. And here is the team shop. So I have a season ticket, so I'm going to skip the line and go right into the stadium. Alright, <laughs> right, so temperature check. Now a year ago, this stadium or this uh, practice field out here would have kids running around kicking the ball. People would be all sitting around here. Motorcycles would be parked in here. But now they have it controlled. You have to come through, get your temperature checked and then you can't leave the area once you come in. Because I guess if you come and go, that you're a high risk for some reason. Right, so got a queue up here, go in through, and I can get my, my actual ticket itself. Now what they're saying is that you have to use the Morpong app or whatever, but I'm going to just skip all that. So I can Don't see in a cap. Check. There's the tickets, and away we go. Jab my arm up with some blue ink, and now time to go in. Now, I can't tell you how much like this has changed. Before, there'd just be people here, all down here. There'd be people jammed in. There'd be a queue for the ticket booth that's behind here, and you'd have to get here pretty early, especially for some big games. You'd have to get here early because there'd be, you know, a 40-minute line waiting to buy a ticket, and there'd just be people everywhere and there'd be like food being sold, drinks being sold. All this down here behind me, this would be ringed with, you know, food vendors. And like for a big game like uh, Burry Ram, there'd be a stage set up over there and they'd have live, live music or whatever. But now it's, it's such a sterile feel. There just is like, there's no excitement. And half the fun, actually probably about 90% of the fun of coming to a Thai football game, it's not for the terrible football they play because it's, the, the talent level is pretty low, but it's for the like hanging out with the Thai people because they're down here and they're having fun and they're doing, you know, they're just being natural. And so, you know, if they, if your team scores a goal, they're high fiving and jumping up and going crazy. But now it's like, okay, we just go in and we all sit politely watching the game and it's just not the same feel. And it's, it's kind of funny. I always would tell people like, you know, if you ever want to learn like all the bad Thai words, come to a football game because in like five minutes you're going to learn every cuss word there is in Thai you just they're just going crazy and it's like it's so different than how they you know how you see them out on the street they're just 
you know, they're just alive. But now we're in this like super duper sterile environment. Okay, so we're up in the seats and as you can see, we're just a little bit early, but it's, the crowd's not gonna be much more than this. They're restricting it to 25% of capacity. That's what it's been. So they have each, like every other row cordoned off and then every other seat. And there's gonna be like a security guard that will come through the entire game, yelling at people that are sitting like right next to each other. And if you're sitting in the wrong row, they'll yell at you. If you don't have your mask on, they'll yell at you. They won't let you bring any drinks in. So if you wanna bring a Coke in or even a water, they they throw you, they tell you that you cannot, so they chase you out there. And they also have like tarped off half the seats and like one of the best areas, there'd be like a band usually set up with some guys with some drums banging and uh, it just makes a great atmosphere. So right now the team's preparing, they're just out here stretching. So this is Port FC. And over here, this is Ratchaburi. They're the team from a little further south around Huihin. And it's, they're a pretty decent club, so it should be a pretty good game tonight. Now, normally there would be like, the band would set up here, they'd have the drum and the, like the cheerleader, a guy with like a megaphone, and he'd be screaming out the cheers and everybody would be singing along with them. We are Okay, so the deafening roar that you heard was the sound of 1,880 fans not cheering at all because they can't really cheer during this, uh, these restrictions. So we have one thing left to do. Let's see how they act with, uh, with the team. When the team uh, comes, like after the game, the team comes over and the fans say thank you. So let's get down there and let's see.
normally after a win everybody would be out here celebrating but as you can see it looks like this guys so that finishes up our game port ended up winning one to nothing but as you can see the environment is much different so i was sitting there sitting sitting there talking to like a thai guy and he said it was actually probably more fun to sit and watch it at home instead of come here in person and it's real a real shame because this is one of the funner things to do i mean as i'm a sports fan so it's always fun to come and see this and the people are always great but now it's like sitting there in a sterile environment just like okay you know what's the real point so if the fans can't cheer and you can't sit next to your friend you know why isn't it just an empty stadium so anyway they've kind of ruined a good thing and now it's it's just what it is so anyway guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and if you want to see something else, leave me a comment down below. And until next time, guys, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy.